First step of the design process is identify a problem. And my problem, it's her. Prototyping phase sucks. It's not pleasant. I have diagrams upon diagrams upon what once was cosmic brownie boxes and and okay, so I think I'm gonna build it by having a base layer of thicker boards and then I'm going to have side pieces. There will be another side piece, but I'm lazy and I wasn't gonna do it because I've mocked them all up. And then this this flappy bit is the top and there will be hinges maybe somewhere in here and it looks like a train wreck but honestly this train wreck is mine and this is why we build scale models because uh flappity flappity little bat this is how we do it Alrighty, I'm about to go and hit up the Habitat for Humanity Restore. It's like um, a thrift shop, but for like building supplies. So that'll be awesome. I'll get my recycled and secondhand materials there. I'm gonna hit up Menards to actually slice up the lumber proper um, and uh, gain the casters and the locking hinges that will enable me to actually fold the drop leaves on my sewing table. And then I'm gonna hit up Walmart for the last bits and bobs that I'm sure will be cheaper there than at Menards. So that's what I'm gonna go do. Take Check out my previous videos about my sewing table design process. And next time you see me, I'll have my haul. So you may be wondering, why is my voice echoey? Well, I'm in my laundry room because this is the only place in my apartment to actually store my cart of wonders. You can see. I went shopping. My Menards trip was mostly successful and, um, lesson learned, measure twice, cut once. So learn from my mistakes, kids. Oh my goodness. This was me not two, three, four hours ago. My goodness. I was covered in sawdust and I'm gonna claim now, but my goodness. Yeah, don't breathe this is right. Wear a mask. Masks are your friends and gloves like this person. Holy moly. Well, it's good fertilizer, if nothing else. A great way to level up your projects is by countersinking your screws. So to match that tapered or upside down cone shape underside of the neck of a screw, a countersink bit is conical shaped. So instead of a screw sitting above your material surface, the bit will work to remove enough material to allow the screw to go further inside or become flush. And it's simple. You're just going to use a twist bit, drill a pilot hole, and then use your countersink bit. You can drive your screw now completely into the material and even top it off with wood filler. Sand it, finish it as usual, and you would never even know a screw.